I just came back from Portugal and I visited one of the most beautiful libraries in the world known as Livraria Lelo. This is located in Porto and the reason why it's so beautiful or popular is because apparently when JK Rowling used to live in Porto as an English teacher, she used to visit this library on the weekend and apparently this actually inspired some scenes in Harry Potter as what the fans claim, which is why there's hundreds of people lined up in front of this library every day so after waiting 30 minutes to get into the bookstore, which is very unstoic of me, because apparently I don't value my time, I learned something very crucial for stoicism and it allowed me to practice one of the most important stoic principles in this environment. There was one major flaw I saw when I entered the bookstore and it had nothing to do with the library itself. It actually had to do with the people visiting the library. Imagine this, you're in one of the most beautiful libraries in the world and guess what people are doing? Taking their phones out and taking pictures and videos as much as they can, waiting in line for their turn. And this violates one of the most important stoic principles, which is being present. Seneca says true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. We're living in a world where we would rather show how amazing our lives are to other people than to actually go live that life. Do you see how ironic that is? Epictetus says if you should ever turn your will to things outside your control in order to impress someone, be sure that you have wrecked your whole purpose in life. How much of our lives have we already given up because we're not able to live in the present moment? How much time have we wasted trying to impress others instead of satisfying ourselves? We can simply change our lives by saying no to impressing others so we can say yes to living a more meaningful life. It's time to take back what's ours and finally start living like a human being, being present in the moment because that's all we own in life. Think about it like this, when you relinquish your control to depend on others, on whether or not their praise will dictate whether your day is good or not, then your contentment is based on things outside of your control. And I don't know about you guys, but personally, I do not want other people to dictate whether I'm having a good day or not. Ryan Holiday says you owe it to yourself and to the world to actively engage with the brief moment you have with this planet. So please remember this next time you take out your phone as soon as you arrive at a destination. Try practicing taking out your phone after you've experienced the actual moment. Maybe then you can capture it. Which is why I have no footage to show of me visiting the library because I was living in the present moment while everyone was waiting in line for their turn to take a picture. Luckily, after thoroughly going through the library and purchasing a book on my list called The Art of War, my girlfriend was able to sneak one photo of me in the library when the line was dispersed so this is me in the library with a big smile on my face after having enjoyed it. I hope this video helped you understand the importance of being present, whether it's in the most beautiful library in the world, or even if it's just you sitting in the living room with your family. Being present can actually teach us a lot about ourselves and significantly increase the quality of our lives. Please subscribe to my channel if you like this video and you would like to see more content on Stoicism.